Uh, Dr. Singh, my co-host, is actually here. So uh, Dr. Singh and I actually welcome you. Uh, may, may I say not only good morning, I say good afternoon and good evening. We are in different, different time zones around the world. This is a global uh, conference as such. And we welcome everyone who is actually making time to actually attend this conference. Uh, this conference is once again, all right, held virtually as uh, we are still in the midst of pa the pandemic. Uh, when it'll end, we have no idea. Though this has prevented us from actually getting together once again, which I would have loved to turn up in Durban, all right? But I think the ac academic fraternity has not been quiet. The academic fraternity has actually been very, very active as such in their research work. The theme for this year's uh, 2021 conference, all right, is the journey beyond. It's, it's quite timely that this theme actually comes in as such anyway, because it provides us an opportunity to share our experiences and knowledge, especially with the pandemic going, but especially with the digital world as it is in anyway, uh, to explore actually to new avenues, to enhance our knowledge, all right, and to maybe implement some of this uh, innovative work that's going to be presented in the digital space. The, ga the gathering is going to give us a solid platform to further our strength and strengthen our understanding, all right, of many educational factors in an international setting as such. But one of the things that which I've observed and my co-host has observed is since we have the first conference, there is lot, there's been a lot more cooperation among us. There's a lot more um, what, sharing of information. All right. But one of the most important things this conference is actually trying to do is for us to actually build what is the most important for our stakeholders to have the best student experience. All right in a digital environment and for us to develop that such that they the experience translate to employment opportunities in a global economy as such now you all of us are aware that the focus of the this particular conference is teaching and learning all right and it's more important for us to actually look at the digital space uh, Recently, I was at a workshop and the question was asked very clearly. So where do you think this digital space is going towards? To? The answer they were actually looking towards is once the pandemic's over, did we go back to the we, a normalcy in the sense face to face? The answer is I don't think that's that simple. I think we the digital space is here to stay for the long term. It's going to progress in further scale and we ourselves in Australia are facing this dilemma. We, we have basically have a lot of uh, restrictions which have been lifted and students are not coming back to class. They prefer the online environment for many of the benefits, what li the literature tells you, basically they don't have to be in class. They can be doing other things. They can review the lecture at their own time. So self-learning actually takes place as such. So we're going to have a difficult time next year when we actually go back on campus to get them back on campus. And this is something that we are deliberating in, in, in actually within our corridors of education and whether we continue a blended approach or whether we actually have a face-to-face -face because there are requirements, especially for international students to be in class on campus. So in, in Australia's case, watch this space as such. The first edition of Digital 2020, what actually produced proceedings that were scientifically rewarding for uh, what you call uh, Dr. Singh and myself, all right? It was, it was, a fantastic experience and I think the community of participants enjoyed that uh, the, 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 the breadth and depth of the papers that were presented. The second iteration of the conference all right, resulted in a total of 68 paper submissions all right, being accepted from 10 countries, South Africa, Zimbabwe, uh, Ghana, Mauritius, Italy, Australia, Oman, Kenya, India, and Zambia. 
All right, the outcome of this overwhelming response will result actually in two publications. One is a book of abstracts with 40 abstracts and a conference proceedings with 20 fully double-blinded double blinded referee papers as such. The pa papers cover many areas, and if you had time to go through the abstracts, you would actually take, a, you would understand it covers areas in COVID in ed higher education, pedagogical practices in online and distance education, curriculum design, student engagement, uh, digital environment, secondary schools, quality assurance, subject specific digital teaching and learning and, uh, and, and research as such. Uh, we, the organizers, believe that you're going to have two days of in-depth academic discussions and engagement. Adding to the richness of the papers, we have key, four keynote speakers who have basically uh, 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 has uh, what agreed to grace their, with, with their presence. One is Professor Misra from the USA, Dr. Sukon from Mauritius, Dr. Sarah DeFres from the UK, and Natalie then made from Tanzania, uh, all uh, well-established uh, individuals in their own area as such, and which have a breadth of uh, experience to share with us. Finally, our thanks actually also go to our collaborators for this conference. This year, in addition to Victorian Institute of Technology, that's where I found them from anyway, in Australia, we also have joining this year Amity University and Emerge Africa. I, I hope you have a wonderful time because I think conferences like this bring out uh, discussions and bring out engagement, which rarely happen when we actually work in our silos, in our offices and such anyway. It would have been much better if we were face to face, but we live through it one more year and hopefully next year we will meet again. But I'm not signing off right now because my co-host, is always the quiet one in the background and she does most of her work. So Dr. Singh, would you like to say a few things before we get to the first keynote speaker? Um, morning, everyone. I don't have much to say, but all I want to say is welcome to all of you. Um, it's wonderful to be back with everyone. Um, lots of known faces, a few new faces. So welcome to the digital family, to all of you who are joining us for the second edition of this conference. And we look forward to the engagement. I think we have some very exciting keynote speakers and the research papers um, are even more interesting. When I went through a lot of the topics, I thought they're very trendy and very current and I think we can all benefit from it. Um, thank you, Prof Nye, as well for your assistance in the organization of this conference. And my thanks to all of you for submitting your research because without you, this conference would not have been possible. 